If we can return with Siyata Deshmaya to that beautiful insight of Ramosha Feinstein, Zechatzalik Levroch, and Chelik Aleph of his Drash Moshe. This week's parasha, when he cites the Gemara Yimuch Chafalif, Gemara Megillah and Dafiyot Amun Beis, that the Mokom Ha'ora and Eino Minamido, Eino Tofis Moko, explained to Moshe one insight, one Mahalech Zok to Moshe, and what this lesson is all about. What are we supposed to glean from the fact that, that the Oren did not take up any space, even though Zok to Heilig Ramosha, the Oren was Kolo Besocho, the Luchus, the Shivrei Luchus, Menachus Baren, and encompassed therein everything, Kol Tarkula and Afal Pike. <clears throat> had demonstrated that Mida of Anivus, the fact that it made itself small, it didn't take up any space. That begin of Kilo Anochi Afer Vefer of Moshe and Aaron Benachnuma. What are we? We're not here. We're not really occupying any space in the world in the dimension of Makom. Hamelo to be Margish to highlight this Kosha of Indian of Anivus, the centerpiece of the Mishkan and the subsequent Bote Mikdash, the Aaron. You could have Kolot or Kula right here, it encompassed therein in one little finite place and at the same time it represents the Olam Aruchni, the spiritual metaphysical world wherein there's no there's nothing to speak about you can't be miyaches musogi moko to something that's completely intrinsically ruchniistic in nature but Zokta Moshe Ba'ofen Drush we have a lesson to be gleaned that no matter how much Torah you have even if you have Kol or Kula you still make yourself lowly and humble that's the Yonav and that of course is Roy Yadvon Lamish Realm. That's what the Hale Gamosha Feinstein, who had cold or cool on his fingertips, and that's what he was all about. Always making himself an honor. I said to add something that we didn't share in the past. If we can go back to that idea that the Ariza writes based on the Zohar of Tzadik Kohen the Bnei Yisachar the Chida, a number of these Gedoli Machshava throughout their Sfarim, it's uh, Vayaka Moshe many other Sfarim as well. The Asalo were going to Paskin like Shammai, and not like Beisilel, not like Hillel. Even though now here in this world we have the Gemara Erev and Yud Gimel Mitzvahs that Achar Deilu Velo Adil Lekem Chaim. Why do we Paskin Hillel? The Gemara told us because of their Mida of Anivus, their Shiflus, the fact that they were always. Always highlighting the unique meat of humility and modesty. That's why Hillel was chosen, something that we discussed. In fact, of David Weiss writes in his Megadim Chadosh of Nerevit, he says, Gavaldik, even though all these Sfarim talk about uh, the Indian of Shammai and Beis Shammai, we're going to pass in like Beis Shammai in the future. Also, the Zohar says, and the Arizal that we're going to pass in like Roshim and Chai nowadays, as the Beis Yosef points out, anytime we have a stira of Shaz Bavli Lamashal and the Zohar Kodesh, we always are Madif, Unzur uh, Shas, we always go with Shaz Bavli. We go with Shaz Bavli Yushami. Uh, typically, before we go with the Zohar Kodesh, in the future, we're going to paskin like the Machaber of the Zohar Kodesh. When Mashiach comes, we're going to paskin like Rav Shem Nechai. Lo Asalo Yalach Kamaisa. So writes the Megillah Chadosh. We're easy to have a Chadosh in the Sefer Medrash Pinchas, and that's Rav Gol Rav Pinchas Mikuritz. It's one of the Gedoli Tamid Habesh, one of the prime disciples of the Eli Gaval Shem Tov. And he says, "The Olam Has Ein Alach Lekrav Meir." We know that we don't paskin our Meir. Why Chazal say that his peers couldn't be Yori the Sof Daito? He was so. Mamik, the profundity of his way of thinking. Uh, we couldn't be Masi, we couldn't be Yori the Sof Daito. In the future, even though nowadays, Rameir and Rabbi Huda, we paskin like Rabbi Huda. Again, we have a few rare exceptions. The famous Rashba Kedushin, Lamad Vavah Manala from Meir and Huda. Certain cases were called Bonim, even when we're Bonim, Shein and Magadim, we're still called Bonim Lamak. We paskin Rabbi Meir, but there are cloud and regular Allah Lamaisa instances where Mad of Shitas Rabbi Huda over Rameir, I'm Rameir. And the end of the day, he was ah, Kilo the Shmid, the Gal Gona Hador. But we couldn't be over in the soft item when we get to the world of Yemos Mashiach. Yemos Mashiach, Zabto, Pinchas, Mikuritz. When Mola Dei is Hashem, everyone's going to be at Tamachoch, I'm learning all day. The Mayor Mashiach, the Mayor Remeno, Yeah, Allah, the Kreb Mayor. Efshur, the Bezeh, Yuvan Abayi, explains all Gemara. He says, Mayor, let's get Shmak. We have a Gemara. Uh, that an Erev and Mavavam base that asks from Meir and Shimon Allah Kedivrei me and the Gemara leaves off Teku. You have a Machlekes from Meir and Shimon. So how do you hold the Gemara? Says Teku. He says Zokdom. He says Gavaldik. Why is it a Teku? Because they're both in the Madrega of an Olam Hazer. We don't paskin like Rav Shimon. Stam Rav Shimon Shimon Chai. We don't paskin like the Balazar. And we don't paskin like Rav Meir. The thought process is way above and beyond this world. We can't paskin in Olam Hazer. Aliba Rav Meir. We can't paskin Aliba Rav Shimon. And Meila. That's the shy. 
When they argue, Ramey or Shimon, that's the Gemara's Kasha, Allah Kid of Rami. And the Gemara leaves off with the Taiku, because we don't know, we don't have any rights, no precedent. We're going to pass and they'll like them, Allah So now the question, of course, is according to these monochromas that clearly seem to indicate, Allah Salavo, we're going to get to a world where Chachma is going to reign supreme. We're going to get to a world where we're going to be sitting, learning, steiging all day long. We're going to pass like Rameir. We're going to pass like Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon, and Chaim. We're going to pass like Shammai. That means you're right. Elam Elo Kim Chaim. And especially the way the Ritva learns in Chirush Yariv, the Eirev in the base, quoting the Rabbeinu Tzarfas, uh, the way the Ritva learns is that Avada, they're both mechaving to the Yemes, they're both 100% mechaving to the Yemes, Elo, and that's Gufei Levelo de Lekim Chayim, but what the Yemes was given over, Memtas Panam Lakan, Memtas Panam Lakan, Zok the River, you get a 49 reasons why this fish is Tomei, 49 reasons why this fish is Tar, and the end of the day, they're both mechaving to the Yemes, even though we mentioned the base Yosef himself, and the Klole HaGamor and Elich HaSolom and Hey, per Kalif, that says why we paskening Hillel. He says, Machmas the Mida of Anivus. That's why he was Yosem Machavin to the MS. Like the Ritva, though, they're both Machavin to the MS. They're both Machavin to the MS. Elohat, we're mad if Hillel because of their Midas Anivus. But if you're going to learn like the Ariza, like the Pirapinchus Kumri Kurats, like the Chido, and Pesach and Ayim and Makama Tukli in the Mene Soscho, that really Shammai is smarter. We have the Gemara of Amos Yadala that when it comes to Be Shammai and Be Avada were Tofes Kashitas Be because Achrei Rabbi Mahatas, they had the majority. Even though Shammai, Be Shammai, Machadid Itfei, they might have been smarter. You see that there was an element of Be Shammai of Shammai that Bechinas Hamachshav Allah Salavu Midas Adin, the way things are supposed to be. The same way in creation, Al Samachshav to create the world Midas Adin, world can exist in pure, exacting, demanding Midas Adin format. Sheet of Ima Midas Arachmim, and then we could have a world of tomorrow. Rechem, the famous Marel Osios Machar. We have a Machar, the Rechem of the Isha in the practical, pragmatic terms gives the world of tomorrow by reproducing. Rechma Venisha, Osios Mochar, an abbreviated elliptical form of the word Rachamim. Rachamim gave the world a sense of continuity, a sense of perpetuity, a sense of Hemshechiyut through time. But the way things ought to be Midas Adin, so Allah we're going to go back to Midas Adin. That means in a certain sense, what emerges is that Shammai is more Machadid Itfei and the more Machavi to the Emerson Hillel. So why Lamaisa we being Madif? Ah, oh, Midas Anivas. So where's there a precedent for such a Chazala telling us that both Elav Dikam Chaim? That means they're both right enough. They're both Emes. They're both Emes enough that we can pass them like either one. In the end of the day, so why we Kaveya that look like Basila because of their Anivas, their Shiflus, and that needs a beer. So what What's the sin of the meter? Slophenia is like there is a precedent to it. What is the first mistake of the acts of creation? The Abishtha creates the world, back embraces Baro Lokim, all of the Nevram come into being. And what happens again, without getting into the Ramam and the Lashitis and the Rishonim, is there a of Chachm of Das when it comes to the celestial spheres? But Lamaisa, the moon has what? The moon displays a sense of Gaiva, says, Oh, what's going on over here, right? The sun and the moon, the same size, Maragada. So in the end of the day, it becomes more content. So the first debris uh, that Hashkocha has. Make what's the first Avera that came into the world before the Chait of Adam and Chava? The first Pegia in God's perfect world was what? Uh, the first mess up was Ayyadeh the moon. And the moon says what? It was an Indian of Gaiva. And the Abishur is mocked in. That means what? Abishur orchestrated the Bria that the first lesson in mankind that we have to rectify, we have to be Masake, is that the moon displayed a Gaiva that was not fitting its nature. And now Abishur Kaviocha had to be mocked in. The Osalova, what's going to happen? It'll be Shavasai. And of course, the moon is going to be as great as the sun. Vechulei, vechulei. But Lamaisa, the first mistake on the part of God's creations, was what? The moon messing up. And what was the mistake? With all the Midas Ros out there, the first error was manifest Ayadei, the Mida of Gaiva. No coincidence in Sota Dafayim and Aleph. What do we find? Kolom is Gaia. Kilu Ovid Avodah Zorah. Ani Vahu Lo Yechol Lo Nodah Rolam Echad. Abishter says we can't live in the same world. Avada Abishter makes a world. There's one Mida. Yes, we have an aspect of Kas. Shabbos Kafei and Beis Kol Koyis Kilo Ovid of Azor doesn't say that exact lotion, but the Hemshech of the Sugi is Mashma that if you're a Baal Kas, ultimately it's Nechshav, it's equated in a sense as if you're Ovid of Azor. But the one Midah where Chazal go out of the way to specify Kol Meskal Kilo Ovid of Azor, where it says what Abishtar doesn't say, Ani and a Baal Kas can't live in the same world, but when it comes to Gaiva, and that's Masech Hasol to where the Kalo, you go astray. What's the backdrop for that Chazal? That's going astray. That's going off 
off the derech, where Eivishter says, I created a world, I can't be in the same world as a Balgaiva. Mamela, the first mistake is what? Don't be a Balgaiva, and Hashem makes the moon small, the Mor HaKotan makes it small, makes it an Anav, makes it a Shafel. And then we get to mankind. What's the first Indian? And introducing man into the world. We have a famous Rashi. Zot the Posek and Chumash Barashas. Perak Aleph, Posek Havav, Ayomer Lokim, Nasa Odem at Samenu Kinmasenu, Zot the Heil Garashi of Fenot Alatar. Pella de Gazach, Nas Adam. Why don't you let us make man? It should be Loshan Yochid, Es Adam. Zant Rashi An Vesanu Sushal Kirshu Chulamana Mikat. So we have the Gemara at the end of Megillah, we have the last Keta in Vayitin Lacham Rabbi Yechon and Bamakim Gidoloso. Shal Kirshu Chushamatam Mutsay An Vesanu. So, and the Gadolus of the Bori bringing the world into creation. We also see that Abish Joe is Matsamse, Yecholti Yisbar, creating a vacuum, a void wherein you could have a physical, material world. So you see, already at the very very act of creating the world, the Abish Tur Bamokum, his godless, he also displayed his anivos. But here in the Psukim, what's the first premise? It's a Pella de Gazach, now Sodom. Why do you write, let us make man to tell you what? Uh, that the Abish Tur Kabyoch was Nimloch, but Pamalia Shamali, he asked the celestial court. Now, again, the celestial court, the heavenly angels, they don't have a Hiro Chavshis. Without getting into Ramesh's famous trickle, the Ashwesh of Racist and Itzofim, and others with Dessar, seems to learn a little bit like Ramesh as well, that they might pass him have a Koch of but the way the way the Maral learns, the way the Ramchal and Agdom and Derech Yitzchayim, some say for the Maral, but Kama Duchti, Malachim don't have a Chiro Chavshah, they don't have free will. So what's the Abish will say? Malachim, should we make man, should we not make man? Ella, what? They don't have free will, they're robots, and the Abish Tur's rotsin. So what? But the Abish wants to teach us that even Kama Yochol, the godless of the Boreolam, the Almighty, the Kagoda Shmuku, he wants to teach us out of this new social control by doing what? Rabbi say, look what happens, look at all the Bible critics from time immemorial. Let us make man. Oh, it must be that there's more than one God. It must be that there are other gods. Why is Abister doing this? Half of Abister just right as all them. Why leave the Pesach? Why open the door to all the Bible critics? They're going to say, let us make men. There's more than one God. And different authors. It's a, why not just say it the way it is? The MS. What's the ultimate MS? It's as all them. It's God making man. That's neither Lama and Abish. Well, she should from the other. But Abister is, is providing everything. That's why the Hanukkah Satur, the famous Rabbi Ravisha, Vayitz there, when Abister created. It's all it says spells by Yitzhak with two yuds. Zok the Rebbe Rav Hesha, why is it two yuds? Because typically the Gemara says, I need a daflam on the base. Shlosh should from the other. Maybe still provides ten parts. The father provides five, and the mother provides five. Ten and five and five is twenty. But when it came to Adam and Chava, there were no biological parents. They just tried to provide all twenty parts. Zok the Rebbe Rav that's why by Yitzhak, Adam, by Yitzhak spell with two yuds. Because when it came to Adam and Chava, Abish still provided all 20 parts. Well, what do you see from this Rashi? Pella de Gazach. That even though Avada and Abish made out, Kodesh was willing to sacrifice that people are going to go ahead and misunderstand the Kavana Satira. And they're going to go ahead and to learn not emistic. They're going to learn others oh, more than one God, Khalid Vachas. So why did Abish do it? You know why? Because it's more important to teach us the meat of Anivus. And the Sanusa Shokhasha, while the Chaira emerges, it's a Pella de Gazach. Abish is willing to sacrifice that I'll have Bali Shekhar Bible critics come into the world and they'll misinterpret and misunderstand the Kavana Satira and Nasa Adam. Ah, that's why and Pella the Grav Heschel also says ah, that's all idea of Kolim is God Kilo over to Vodazara because if you're a Bagaiva, why is it over to Vodazara? If you're a Bagaiva, you don't understand this Rashi. You can't understand that the Abishar sacrificed something to teach us on Ebus. And Mela, Bagaiva can only read the route, can only read the Posik. Nasa, there's more than one God, says Dr. Rebbe of Heschel. That's why Kolim is God Kilo over to Vodazara because if you're a Bagaiva, you will never understand that the Abish Tur wrote Nasa only to teach us his meat of Avanivus. And maybe you have to read the Pasuk of Shut. I mean, Nasa, that's why it's Kilo over to Vodazara. But what emerges? Abish was willing to sacrifice a little bit something for the perception of absolute truth, full fledged MS, in order to teach Kleis or the Dori Doris the Chashivas of Midas Anova. Phineas Daiti, it's very Gishmak. The first mistake, Aide the Moon, Gaiva, the punishment, Anivus, the Shuffle, the Mora Katan. Comes Adam, the very Bri of Adam Rishon is what? It's predicated on this Yesod of Nasa Adam. It's Eser. Nasa to teach us an Vesanusa Shokar So now it comes very Gishmak. We're always doing Ma'ain. 
What the Ebers do? How the Ebers do? Mahu Afato. So if we're going to be Kavei on our Locha, I lost a level. Yes, we get to all the Midas Adin, straight Midas Adin, then we'll pass on Rameyer, then we'll pass on Rashim, we'll pass on like the Zohar, then we'll pass on like Shammai, Be Shammai, Machani, Tfei Midas Adin, then we'll pass on like that's why the Rizal writes in both Shar Gagulim and in Sefer Gagulim, Hillel was a Gilgal of Hevel, of the Tzad Chesed in Hevel, and Shammai was Mitzad the Gevura, but Mitzad of the Midas Arachim, and that's all of Hasa, the Chul, that's going to be Hillel. And that's the Aniva, Zok the Arizal, the same way Hevel was Hevel Avolim, he made himself an Adam Shofel, as opposed to Kai and Kono Kanisi and Hashem. That was Hillel. Say, so Hillel, what is the honor of? That's Erev in Yom So now comes a very Gashma. Even though Mitzan the MS, Shammai might be more Machavi to the MS of Din, of the way it's going to be, and the way we're going to pass in the future, it's Kadai to sacrifice that for the right here and the right now to teach us the Aniva. So we're going to be Kaveya and Olam Haz and the Aloha in accordance with Basila. Why? Because in my son, I'm the son, no say shul Hillel. That's why we're going to be mad if Hillel, it's even Kedai to sacrifice something in the Olam Ames to go ahead and be Malavi to Christ or Chashivas. That when it comes, even yes, to be Kavei Pesach will be mad if an Olam has a Hillel over Shammai because of their Anivas, because of their Shiflas. Have a wonderful night and a great rest of the weekend.